this is a question from Russia 1992. Given that each of the xy is more than 1, we are asked to show this inequality. There are many different ways to solve this inequality. So today I will show you using the most elementary ways to show it, that is using AMGM inequality. Since each of the x and y is more than 1, we may let a to be x minus 1, and therefore A is positive, and B is y minus 1, and therefore B is also positive. The expression on the left hand side will be equals to A plus 1 squared over B plus B plus 1 squared over A. We expand it and we will get a squared plus 2a plus 1 over b plus b squared plus 2b plus 1 over a. And this can be written at a squared over b. 2a over b can be written as a over b, a over b. 1 over b is 1 over b plus b squared over a plus 2b over a written as b over a plus b over a and lastly 1 over a using mgm inequality we have eight terms all together and each of these is positive so this is greater than or equals to 8 multiplied with the product of everything to the power of 1 over 8 so we may just write it down a square over b a over b a over b and 1 over b b square over a b over a b over a and 1 over a and we can see that the numerator will be a to the power of 4 b to the power of 4 denominator b to the power of 4 a to the power of 4 and they all cancel off and therefore it is equal to 8 so we have proved the inequality. Now, we may ask this, when is the equality holds? Equality holds, if and only if, each of the term the same. So each of the term the same, meaning that a squared over b equals to a over b, this is also a over b, equals to 1 over b, equals to b squared over a, b over a, and lastly, 1 over a. From here, we know that uh, a equals 1. From here, we know that uh, b equals 1. And from here, we know that a is equal to b. And therefore, we have a equals to b equals to 1. And we can check that if a equals to b equals to 1, then x will equal to y and equals to 2 and we have the equality holes. We can make a little bit of extension or discretion. I will give two different kinds of extension. The first kind of extension is instead of x and y, we have x, y, z greater than 1, x squared over y minus 1, plus y square over z minus 1 plus z square over x minus 1. You may go and find what is the minimum value. Um, of course, you can have x, y, z, w, u, v, and so on and so forth, and do the similar thing. The second extension will be, uh, we still stick to x and y alone. But instead of y minus 1, it can be y minus k. So in this case, xy is greater than k, where k at least equals 1. Um, so this will be x squared over y minus k, and y squared over x minus k. If so, what is the minimum value for this expression?
write the answer for these two expansion in the description. You may try it out and check it there. So this is done for the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again. Bye-bye.